Hello everyone, this is uh, Moaz. Uh, uh, I have a question from one of my colleagues, Rama. She is asking me how to how, how we can achieve um, uh, making a mix between two materials in uh, in a building using ARCHICAD. So uh, uh, here we're gonna see how we can do this using ARCHICAD. Here in ARCHICAD, I have uh, made this uh, uh, simple uh, plan. Uh, nothing actually. It's just about the uh, this facade. Uh, we can see it here in uh, 3D. Um, uh, what we're gonna do is just to separate this uh, part over here to two parts of materials using ARCHICAD 17. I'm using ARCHICAD 17. You can, but but I'll try um, to explain how to do this uh, uh, with the settings uh, for those who are just still using ARCHICAD 16 to know uh, for this uh, to be achievable. Okay, so in order to do this, we're gonna go to um, to the uh, uh, 2D uh, floor plan window. Uh, I have pre-made this uh, spline using the spline tool. Uh, after I made this, I will take it to trace a uh, profile using a shell tool. So I go to the shell tool, and the shell tool I will choose the different the the, the following um, attributes. First of all, I have to put the elevation. Of the um, of the um, uh, of the base of the uh, of the uh, shell to zero, and then I will choose it to be just a simple or a basic, and I will choose a so thin line, just like 13 millimeters, which is almost three centimeters. And you can choose it, um, uh, um, or you can modify it to 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 be. Just like the way you you're using your if you are using a very different uh, or a different system of uh, units, then I will take the um, I'm gonna talk about this later. Okay, so I'm gonna space click and then put this uh, uh, click on the on the uh, spline. I will have the extrusion length of uh, let's say 40, uh, 450 millimeters. Which is uh, like 40, uh, 45 centimeters. Okay, so we have here now this uh, this shell. Now we have to put this shell here on this facade. In order to do that, we have to rotate it. We can do this in 3D. Okay, facade. Let's go and do this. Uh, we can have a problem here which is uh, why I have made the base height to zero. Uh, let's suppose uh, the base height is not zero. Give it any number you like. Let's say it's 50. Uh, when you do it as 50, you're going to have a problem rotating this, uh, rotating this uh, uh, shell. Well, now, I didn't have that problem, actually, because uh, you can see it in the... Okay, we got it. Here. It's not rotating. It's not rotating uh, uh, into uh, as expected, and that is because um, that's why because we're not taking the right angle when you are trying to do that in, in the 3D. The solution to that is only always to, to, to put the uh, to put the uh, base height to zero. This is one solution. The other solution is just take this or elevate the, this grid to just to get to the to the element that you need to. Modify. Anyway, we're gonna take this Control plus E. That's for rotation. Now I I will click and keep clicking on the mouse uh, in order to. Oh, okay, this is not the uh, this is not the uh, axis that we need to rotate it uh, around. This is the the right one, which is the X axis. Uh, and then I will just click here and then click here. Now I need to rotate it the other way. Is Control E again, and then click, click, and click. Okay, now it's just ready to put it at the needed place that we we, we want to separate the two materials. Uh, but I'll do that, which is which will be easier for me on the 
uh, on the 2D in the Control D, that's where you can drag. And then I will take it from any hotspot over here. And just put it to, uh, by the way, make sure that you are just on the on the right story over here. So I'm gonna put it here. Um, what I need to put in mind here while I'm just dragging, or after dragging, uh, is that there uh, there have to be excuse me there has to be a space between um, uh, I mean I mean for the shell to extend the uh, the wall which is here this, uh, this this element over here it has to be some extension uh, over the both both sides of the wall in order to have a, a nice and a clean cut uh, later on now uh, let's go to the um, west elevation. Okay, uh, we got here. I, I believe we have to move it a, a little bit to the left. This would be nothing, it will, it will be up to you. Uh, this is a design thing, I will not get uh, interfered with that. Now, our next step our next step is to separate. Um, we need to have a material over here and material, a different material over here, or, or to the right side. In order to be able to do that, um, I'm gonna choose all the walls in this facade. I just click Control plus D, and then press Control again in order to make a copy. Uh, I will press, I will keep pressing Shift in order to remove it to the to this side. Actually, I've done it, but uh, I believe because uh, okay, here. Uh, why it didn't appear? Uh, when I did it before, that was because the uh, the um, the line of the elevation here is not extending, so that it contains all of the walls over here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the uh, elevation. Okay, I did I did it the wrong way. I have to do the copy again. So I'll press Control plus Z, and then Control D and Control again. And then I'll just put it over here. Okay. Now my second step will be as the following. I will choose the those walls again. Uh, those walls will have the first material to the left side of this uh, separator, which is the shell. In this case, uh, I will go take um, connect and then trim elements to move your shell. And choose this shell. Now uh, I click the part that I like to keep, which is the left part. Okay, but I have this awful shape. Uh, this shape is a production or is a present of the uh, um, of taking uh, everything downwards. Okay, from the the curvature of this um, the curvature of this shell. Uh, we can solve this by going by uh, going to the uh, settings of the shell and choose editable instead of download or upward extrusion because this is the case that we are looking for now my other problem or the second problem now is just okay I, i've done the, the the left side of the wall however i'm stuck now with the right side which is i need to eliminate because if i keep here uh, i will i'll need to have to copy or to get back to track the the, the uh, copies that i make that I made earlier and then get them back here, which will have an interlacing results or um, overlapping uh, walls. Okay, so in order to do that, I have to do the following. I will go to the um, F3. Okay. I will take this uh, um, shell. Uh, click here, which is the completion of the profile. After I click here, I will say I will choose this. Uh, command here from the pet palette, which is the continue profile. Uh, all I need to do is just to draw a line so that I will just extend the uh, length of this wall. Okay, just click it again here. Now I'll go downwards. Maybe I can see it from here. Okay, I click here. I'll choose the same command. I will just extend the wall to, to this point. And now I'm done. Okay, now I'll get back to the um, uh, elevation view. Let's see, open elevation. Okay, and 
Now, after I open the elevation, I'm going to take the old walls that I made a copy of just a bit earlier, and then Control D, I'll take them back here. Okay. Now I have a duplicate set of wall sitting here from this area. I'll take it here. I will select them without forgetting to press Shift. Uh, I'll then do the same. I'll say trim elements. Excuse me. Okay. So I'll choose them here. Okay. Okay. I'll say uh, connect trim elements. Okay. And then keep this part. Okay. Now uh, all I do is uh, to play a bit around with the materials of those uh, walls as we're gonna see right now. First, I'm gonna take the left side uh, walls that I need to put the first materials and I have to put the first material on and I will know what is the surface if you are working with uh, version 17 or which is um, called earlier the materials. Uh, now this surface, we can find it over here in the generic wall shell, which is the building material that we are working on. Uh, in order to know what is this uh, material here, or the surface, if you are working, uh, as I mentioned earlier, in version 17, you're gonna have to go and choose this uh, command over here. It's not working if I choose multiple walls. I need to choose only one, which is here. Just edit selected composite. Uh, in this uh, window, I can uh, in this box, I can know that uh, the material that I'm working on is called generic external cladding. Okay. So uh, if I have uh, to press my own uh, uh, shortcuts that I uh, made customized for the surfaces, I can choose Alt Shift. Plus B. Uh, excuse me, I'll shift plus S or, you know, just to open the surface settings. The surface, uh, or before the surface setting, I have to go to the materials, which is Alt plus B, building materials. In the building materials, we can see here that generic, generic, uh, or maybe it was uh, external cladding, that's the point. Okay, uh, it says that my surface is paint. 14. So I have to go for paint 14, which is if we go to the surfaces earlier, it's called the materials. Uh, if you are working on versions, uh, version 16 and earlier, uh, and now I'm gonna choose the paint 14. Okay, so this is paint 14. After choosing paint 14, we have to make sure that we are working with internal engine. In the internal engine, we're gonna go to the pictorial hatching and choose some kind of hatching here. Let's say this hatching here is, um, okay, I'll leave it as it is. It's like block, running board, and choose okay. okay. Now I'll take the other, uh, the other walls that are on the right side. I'm gonna go and give them uh, just uh, another material, which is, uh, let's say here, I'm, I'm gonna make an override surfaces, which is something I might explain later in my tutorials that I intend to offer in my, in my group on Facebook, ArcCAD Training. Um, okay, so we're gonna choose here, let's say something like surf stucco yellow. Okay, I'll stick to that. I'm gonna choose okay. Okay, see here? Okay, now we're having two different materials on the, on the, um, uh, on this elevation. Now I'm gonna take this uh, shell over here and I'm gonna put it into the hidden layer in order just to have uh, a more harmonized uh, 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 version of this um, of this uh, elevation okay now we have made it in the 2d window but we have to do it in the 3d window okay now in 3d window we have two materials, but they are not as uh, we like to see them. So uh, I can make a test render or a simple test render. Uh, so I have a, I have made a um, um, shortcut for this. Okay. 
now it's making the render but uh, the question is how I chosen those two materials or those two um, different materials here in order to know that it will be the same answer same answer is just to go to the surfaces or to the materials as we knew on before now we have two materials the surf stucco yellow which has just made the pictorial hatching to be this hexagonal shape this is something I made earlier I can, I can choose it if you want but this will affect only the uh, 2D view so if I go to the um, to the elevations this one see now I have just another uh, type of this um, hatching now if I get back to the 3D window uh, I have to go to the surfaces so, okay. those are the surfaces I'm not gonna deal with the internal engine anymore I have to go to the Lightworks rendering engine in the Lightworks rendering, rendering engine I prefer, I advise you to do so to go to the load settings from archives uh, when load settings from the archives uh, we can have here those five essential libraries which came with the uh, with the engine itself so we can take now the architectural which is the one I use more so we go to the construction and walls now let's say okay I need a brick or a, or a fire brick just to make sure this is something different okay this is the fire brick you can actually make a, a, make uh, uh, effects using the reflect, reflectance, transparency, displacement, etc. So I'm going to say OK. Nothing will appear here until we press or go to the rendering. So if you see here. Okay. So I'm getting now here a different set of materials as you might ask. The last thing that I need to just let you know about is how I made this um, hatching or how I made this fill appears here. Uh, this is the uh, the settings of the elevation itself. Uh, in the elevation you'll see here that I go to the model uh, display or we can say story level. I've chosen just none in order not, not to show any story level there in the, uh, in the window here. And then I made the model display. When I go to the model display, um, I just make sure that the uh, fill uncut surfaces is just giving me all surface colors, no, sh not shading. And I have just activated the Victoria's 3D hatching over here. Now, in order to have the uh, the shadows appearing here, uh, we have to check here the sun shadow. Okay, and after that, we have to go to the to choose the type of the shadow is. Um, 50% uh, 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 transparency uh, because if, if you change it to let's say 25 you'll see that here that it, it's more uh, transparent uh, talking about regarding the shading now let's go back here and change it, this to 75 or no let's say it, it's 50 okay where it was before so thank you for watching. Um, if you want any question, any questions, please visit my uh, group on Facebook. It's Archicad Training. Thank you very much.